Hi, this is Wayne Zell, and welcome to Blueprint for Wealth, your educational video blog that's designed to help you realize your personal dreams of wealth and freedom. Blueprint for Wealth is brought to you by Zell Law, an estate and business planning law firm located in Reston, Virginia, and serving clients across the DC metro area and across the US. Today, we're talking about number seven on the list of 27 trusts, the Irrevocable Life Insurance Trust. Here's a list of the 27 trusts that we've been talking about. In an irrevocable life insurance trust, you are the grantor, the creator of the trust, and you want to purchase life insurance on your life. Well, you could use an irrevocable life insurance trust. In an irrevocable life insurance trust, you cannot be the trustee, and you're going to name your loved ones or others as beneficiaries of the trust. You're going to make annual gifts of life insurance premiums or more periodic gifts that might be larger in amount to purchase permanent insurance. The trustee of the islet pays the premiums to the life insurance company, which upon your death pays the death benefit proceeds directly to the trustee of the islet for the benefit of your named beneficiaries. The trustee can distribute principal and income to the beneficiaries during their lifetimes and for their descendants and beyond. The assets pass estate tax-free and can remain outside of the beneficiaries' estates if they are retained in trust. Normally, people view this islet, this irrevocable life insurance trust, as a source of paying taxes if there is death tax due. But really, what happens is the proceeds that are received from the islet are used to provide liquidity to the estate, either in the form of a purchase of assets or in the form of a loan to the estate. The estate uses the proceeds to pay the tax and the islet can hold the insurance proceeds for the beneficiaries. The islet permits the estate owner to transfer assets to his or her heirs and avoid significant transfer taxes and income tax. It achieves asset protection if it's kept inside the trust and the trust is drafted properly. Some issues with islets are that annual gifts have to be made to the trustee and not directly to the insurance company to qualify for an annual gift tax exclusion. The trustee pays the premiums. So-called crummy letters named after a 1968 case before the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals are required to allow the beneficiaries the right of withdrawal of the premiums for some short period of time. If they have that right of withdrawal, the IRS and the courts recognize that the gift qualifies for the annual gift tax exclusion. The gifts are irrevocable, the trust is irrevocable, and it cannot be terminated without certain procedures being followed. If you want to know more about life insurance trusts, send us an email to wayne at zelllaw.com or visit our websites for more information. Thanks for listening to Blueprint for Wealth and tune in next week for another topic of interest in estate and business planning. Have a great week.